Being a picky eater can be a natural state for young children. They are born with an instinctive desire for sweet and salty foods, aren't we all? Uh -huh. And an instinctive aversion to sour and bitter tastes. So the question is, how as a parent can you conquer the taste boudoir and get your picky eater under control? That's right. And joining us now to help us with the food fight is our parenting ooh, expert ooh, and ooh. author, Monica Bencomo. Yeah. Oh, this is the most <laughs> true thing ever. This is... We... No joke, we're talking about this yesterday. Yeah. And Topher said, what's our biggest problem with Cannon? And we were like, eating. He doesn't mm. eat. Ever. <laughs> so, how do you get kids involved, you know, so that they are actually wanting to eat? You can get them involved in the process, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, I know you told me a story about going grocery shopping with your son and how mm -hmm. that didn't end the oh, best way. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> but uh -huh. I think, you know, just... Hang in there, girl. Just keep going grocery shopping with your with your little one. I love taking Ellie out to the grocery stores and getting him involved <gasps> with the okay. process of picking out the goodies. Oh uh, yeah. Um, we practice different names of fruits and vegetables yeah. and breads, and he's like yellow banana, mm -hmm. and he literally helps me put everything in the cart. Uh, yeah. That way, I feel like getting them more involved gets them excited about what they're actually going to consume when they're at home. Gotcha. Yeah. So I think that's a really really important part in getting your kids. Um, to eat what's on their plate yes, because then they feel like bananas. they're involved in the process <laughs> and like yes. if you're involved in the process you're you're more into it and you're more into versus just saying eat that because it's yeah. so right it's like right. It's no, good for let's, you. yeah you know I think at, at our kids age especially it's important to have them see what they're eating yeah um, and to learn while they're eating because it's a perfect age as toddlers to have them do that yeah. that's a perfect example of how to, how to get them involved what other tips do you have for other parents out there that have the picky eaters. Yeah, and, and I know since we have toddlers, there's other uh, obvious age ranges out there that we mm -hmm. can touch on. So I think it's like, a good how idea. do I get my husband to eat broccoli? No. How do you do? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't eat broccoli, okay? You know, yeah. that is a challenge. Oh, yeah, I eat broccoli. This Me might too. work for your husband as well, but okay. what I do is I, I make these plates of rainbow colored food, as I okay. call it. Okay. So this one, for example, uh -huh. that's cute. You know, that's cute. Getting your You're children, an getting your children and or your husbands involved wow. in the process. Of, <laughs> That's cool. Of putting little dishes really cool. uh, shaped in, as a pancake, for example, <laughs> a smiley mm -hmm. face Yum. pancake. <laughs> hey, um, get your kids excited. Hey, I'm gonna help mom prepare this this meal, and it's fun. I'm gonna eat this dog's ear. Or I'm gonna, eat, <laughs> you know, get your kids in the process of a creative, fun meal sure. versus I gotta eat this broccoli. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Right, right, right. Okay, well, you mentioned on your blog that creating family rituals with eating can help establish, you know, good habits as well, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay question for you. Hot, uh -huh. hot seat. Do you eat your meals with your family all the time? Oh. Like, is it easy for you to make that time to do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, you go, girl. Oh, she's good. Well, she's like, boom. She's like, yes. uh. <laughs> um, Topher gets out of work late sometimes, so it right. might just be me and Cannon sometimes. Right. But mostly mm -hmm. on the weekends, yeah, we that's awesome. We eat together. You make time, you set time, and, and we eat together. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Great. So if you yeah. can do that for me, I just aim for us to do that once or twice a day since our schedules are so bananas. Yeah. Um. So if you can do that, I mean, three times a day, awesome. Yeah. That's gonna set your children up for success as far as having those habits, those rituals of. Sure. It's not just about me eating. It's about me, mom, dad, or just mom it's and family dad. Time. You know, it's yeah. family time and, and like I said, just developing those habits of mm -hmm. this is something that we all do, not something I do, because you don't want to make it feel like it's a punishment for them. Yeah. Like go eat your food. Yeah. No, yes. this is something we do as a family. We can talk, you we get can laugh, eat. we can have fun, we can eat dog ears like we mentioned earlier. So yeah. yeah, making it a family family affair. And these are things that you can really find like on Pinterest too, right? Exactly. I was okay. gonna mention okay. that. I get a lot of ideas on Pinterest because I mean I'm creative, but I run out of, of ideas sometimes to get so my toddler in the mood. The, the so. pancake in the sun was that was that a Pinterest or was that <laughs> is that a, some the, of your... the smiley face pancake was definitely a Pinterest inspired okay. idea. Okay. Yes, and so that's where I get a lot of ideas from. But yeah, I mean like the, the fish. Uh, I mean the blueberries. It was blueberries, right? Yeah, blueberries. So what we'll do is we'll say blue blueberries, uh -huh. yellow uh -huh. banana. Um, and it's kind of a learning process. It's at the same completely time as, a learning process. You know, feeding them. Now, are you guys good cooks? I mean, Elvis. You guys have a restaurant, <laughs> and it's delicious. <laughs> it is he the be. cook, or are, are you the cook? I'm completely the cook at home. We get okay. that okay. question the most at the restaurant and outside of the restaurant is, yeah. Elvis, do you cook at home? He's like, no. He's like, no. I work seven hours a week at the restaurant. I am off schedule Which when I'm makes at home. it even more frustrating if you're the one that's, like, slaving away in the kitchen, and then you're yes. like, I made this with all I of my know. sweat, blood, and tears I for know. You. That is how I Eat feel. It. Right, right. So when my son wasn't so eating it, I would get so hurt. I'm like, I yeah. slaved away. You're going to eat your food. <laughs> exactly. Exactly how I feel. So, okay. Yeah. But these are great tips. Wow. 
I need to make it a little bit more interesting for Canon yeah. to yeah, like look great. at. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Now, if you want any more information on this topic, or you want to, uh, you know, uh, get to winning the yeah. food fight, because, <laughs> Win it. you yes. know, I'm losing. Just head to Casa.com and click on the Style tab.